This is Yali from Cisco Tech. As we know, the trace outputs provide information that can be used for locating and solving the issue, and helps to get a detailed view of system actions and operations. Let me show you how to collect trace logs. First, to rotate all the current in-memory trace logs into the crash info partition, and start a new in-memory trace log for each process. Use command request platform software trace rotate all. Before collect logs, verify that all traces are in notice by default. Use command to platform software trace level. If you want to change traces level, use command set platform software trace. After rotate all the current trace logs, if you want to collect the trace logs of the specified process, we might skip the process of downloading a trace and then decoding it by reading the information directly. Depending on the scenario, we can trigger an event and then immediately redirect that information to a text file used command to platform software trace message. This example shows how to display the trace messages for the fed process and save the logs to flash. If you want to archive all the trace logs relevant to all the processes running on a system, send the last reload on the switch, and to save this in the specified location, use command Request Platform Software Trace Archive. After execution of this command, you will see a file with targz format in flash. This example shows how to archive all the trace logs of the processes running on the switch since the last five days. Optionally, to archive all the tree logs saving in crash info, you also can use command archive tar create. After execution of this command, you will see a tar file generated in flash with the name you specified. This example shows how to archive all the tree logs saving in crash info. Thanks for listening.
If you have any concern, please feel free to reach out to Cisco.